doing over to my layout here. <laughs> All right. So we were going to have two. Oh, we're back to Peaches again. Kane having just played on this stage not that long ago. So this was going to be another five-person semifinal with the final three moving on to the grand finals for six-person grand finals. But I guess New Car Smell wasn't able to make it, so it's going to be four people. But we still need three people to move on. So in this free-for-all game, you just need to not be the first person eliminated. So that's what this battle is all about. Everyone just wants to not be the first out and be fighting for their lives for that. So top three doesn't really matter. Just need to not be the first one out. So, this game here, if I go ahead and write down all the names here, this is going to be... I think I'm good on drugging myself, thank you. <laughs> so, there's, so there's Snow Penguin, there's Silterix. I'm just going in the order that I have them here. There's Kane, 171. And wait, I missed someone. Cap. Oh my goodness. I'm actually blind. Never mind. I didn't go in order because I missed Cap at first because they Cap and Kane look the same and my brain melded them together like an eldritch abomination. All right. <laughs> so now that I'm properly having a look-see, it seems like everyone is down their first stock. So it is a very even game so far. So far, it is extremely even. The talks, the talks, the stocks are still tied here. We'll see who's competing in our grand finals. Ooh, countering a bit too early and Kane being launched right off the top. Unfortunito there. Siltrex able to take another stock, two back to back here. Really feeling it right now. Doing some great work there, picking up the box. And we have Drill, Cuckoo, and a laser. Is anybody going to use these to turn the tides by any chance? Kane looks like picking up the Cuckoo. Managing to land it on Siltrex. So now the Cuckoos all hate Silterix. Is this going to lead to a stock being closed out? Or will Silterix be able to avoid it enough to be able to keep this stock? Oh, the Cuckoos are over. Silterix still surviving at 138%, even after the Cuckoos. Oh, someone has a chance at getting another stock here. Julepup just picking it up, and if no one stops that... Oh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Looks like Jigglypuff able to get another stock. With the S flag, whatever it's called. So, Kane unfortunately missed time in the counter yet again. And Siltrix unfortunately missing the final smash. It's still pretty even. Uh, it's not obvious for any one player who could potentially be knocked out first. Oh, and Siltrix unfortunately going right into that F smash. Siltrix once being at the top, but now how the mighty have fallen. That Siltrix can still absolutely bring this back. Up tilt, able to kill. But that was Jigglypuff's spare stock. I know that Siltrix and Kane are Byleth and Ike because... Oh, and Cap. So, I mean, that narrows it down. So, Snow Penguin is Jigglypuff. Okay, I can remember that. <laughs> I can remember names. Everyone's labeled but one. All right. So, yeah, that was Snow Penguin's extra stock. So, it's not really a big deal to lose that. Still tied in stocks with Cap with the most stocks. Kane and Siltrix with two stocks left. The two Fire Emblem characters here. Siltrix going for another fully charged neutral B. Kane eating another. Yeah, Kane used to be an adventurer like you. But then he took a Byleth neutral B to the knee, unfortunately. Oh, the missed rest. Kane gonna back here to punish that. Kane trying to grab the Pokeball, but unfortunately failing to do so. Siltrix getting a Vulpix now. So Byleth has now become a Pokemon trainer now that... I was about to say that Siltrix is on the field. No, now that Vulpix is on the field. Siltrix just being the name of Summon Vulpix there. Going for another fully charged neutral B. Oh, Kane down to his last stock. Could this be his tournament stock? Oh no! <laughs> okay, he was able to recover. Oh, Siltrix down to last stock as well. This could be the end of the tournament for either one of these players. All right, Snow Penguin still with two stocks. Cap with three. It's kind of living it easy over here. Not wanting to be the first one eliminated. Now, right now, it's seeming most likely like it would be Siltrex or Kane. And Snow Penguin getting caught by that Byleth final smash. Will this be the end of that stock? Yeah, Jigglypuff is extremely light.
Snow, Penguin, Siltrex, and Kane all down to their last stock. Cap still at two. Who's going to be the person to lose their final stock first? Oh, Snow Penguin landing the rest on Kane. What a rest. Unfortunately, Kane's adventuring days are over after those arrows to the knee and needing to take a bit of a rest, it would seem. So now it is just down to bragging rights here for these last few players, because all three of them will be able to move on to the Grand Finals. So, in Grand Finals... Oh, working on the electricity there, it sounds like. So in our Grand Finals, we are going to have Rise, Mud the DM, uh, I'm losing track here, Con, Snow Penguin, Siltrex, and Cap is who is all going into the Grand Finals. Those are the six players that are moving on to our final round. <laughs> I guess I missed something while I was working on the bracket. <laughs> I guess that's how Cap lost that second last stock was with the Gardevoir Reflected Banana. Don't you hate it when Gardevoir reflects a banana? I don't think I've ever seen it happen. Oh, getting some help from, I forget his name, but representing the Bayonetta franchise here. I should know his name. <laughs> oh, the up spell. Did they both die at the same time? All right, Cap winning that game. And we have the players decided for our final round here. So these are going to be our final players in Grand Finals. All right, let's switch back to the, actually, no, turn off the display capture first and switch back to what the free for all between games and get ready for our grand finals the final round of this tournament is about to be underway